All right, all right. You want to pop back over to the other tab up top? We are live. That's right. We are live. What's up, everybody? You want to refresh it? There we go. All right. So it says we're live, but let's give it a second here to pop in. So. Might just be taking a second. Okay. I don't know. I'll come over there. And check it out. Excuse me. Yeah, we have one viewer, Craig. Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah. Craig, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. How you doing? Coach, what up? <laughs> Let me get my glasses on. I can't barely see that. I can see it still, though. Yeah, don't forget there's a little bit of a relay when you're watching it on the... Uh, uh, YouTube page, babe. So babe, I you know. can say what's up, you know. <laughs> hey, you gonna say what's hi? up, guy? Hey. She's like waving, like she can, like you guys can see her. And stuff. Funny. <laughs> Anyways, how you guys doing? Um, good to see you guys. We're gonna wait a couple minutes here, let everybody kind of stroll in for a few minutes. Um, yeah, you know, Ashley's gonna be in the chat and uh, answer any questions. You know, bring them my way, things like that. So. Yeah, we did have a chance to fly our 90 millimeter Viper yesterday. So uh, right at sunset, so that was pretty awesome. We didn't fly the full three minutes. We went for about two because, uh, you know, the darkness level was real. And oh, yeah, yeah. So but anyways, it's smooth <laughs> as butter, smooth as butter. So but yeah, today we're going to be talking about the K model RC afterburner, which I have over there on camera number one. So I'm pretty excited to get that going for you guys here. I'll do a little showcase on that. And yeah, we're also going to be doing a giveaway here towards the end of the video too. Um, so please make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. And yeah, babe, if they don't see a wrench next to their name, you can kind of scroll to the right of it and then um, click add as moderator if it's their first time in here. So who is that? That is... Angel. Angel. He said hi. What's up? How you doing? Good to see Welcome. you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. Add as moderator. There you go. You are now added. Yep, that one. We got a first timer over okay. here, so it's a little bit yeah. over, you know. <laughs> Bear with Just me. Just the wrong things. Um, Shadow Op said he's at a family dinner. Oh, nice, dude. Good to see you. What's up, Eric? Yep. And then Fly High RC said, beautiful day of fly. Nice. Where, nice. Where's he from? Where are you from? <laughs> do you know? I do not. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> he said, need to get you all down here. I mean, what's up? Yeah, we had pretty crappy weather today. We didn't get to do anything RC related other than, you know, kind of prep for this right now. And yeah, yeah. you know. Just a little bit of a lazy day here. It's been thunderstorming and all that good stuff. So, yeah, not a very good day. But that's okay. Yeah. Days are it's coming. It's nice now. I think tomorrow. Yeah, it's not like it's still super windy. Um, but tomorrow is going to be a better day to uh, get a flight in. So we're probably going to take the fiber out again. And, yeah, definitely check this thing out. Um, after I'm done putting in the afterburner in this, I'm not going to put the wings back on and things like that yet because we're going to add some lights into this thing. So I do believe that the um, airframe on this is awesome. It's super duper fast. We flew it on a 5300 the other day for the first time. And yeah, I mean, like I was just blown away at how the speed of this thing, to be honest with you, completely blown away. Actually, weren't you two? We were just like, whoa. I was. Yeah, because yes. she wasn't even like recording nothing. We had the kids <laughs> out there were just kind of just like, you know, messing around. And, uh, yeah, like, wow, kind of, like, mind-blowing. Yeah, you are definitely flying that thing like crazy. Yeah, but as soon as I think it's on, like, a dark cloud or anything like that, you know, you definitely will probably lose orientation if, unless you have some binoculars on or something, so, because four lights, you know. Yeah. Is no joke. <laughs> 
All right, that's it. We're gonna keep on going here. We're gonna go ahead and get this on box here. So when you get this in the kit here, all right, so. Just make sure my camera's all good there. Do you wanna pop over to the other screen, babe, so I can see it in real time? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, so. Boom, there we go. All right, cool. So this is what we get when you get the package, guys. All right, right here, all right. K Model RC Afterburner. Really good for all-in runners. All right, 64, 290 millimeter size, guys, 290 millimeter, all right? And this is true because I've put it on the twin uh, 64 millimeter uh, Tomcat as well, the one that went down. Mm. So, yeah, very nice here. I'll show you guys here what it looks like as soon as you get it. 3D printed, you know, super nice. Got these lights on top that um, give off the blue. Um, yeah, really, really awesome. This is a V3, guys. The V1 and the V2, I believe, weighed like 17 grams. This one is not far out, like, you know, maybe a gram or two more with these lights on here. But other than that, you know, it's not anything. It comes with these really high-grade wire here, uh, not really anything thin, you know, so you can fish it down and pull it in without having really much of any issues. So, and then we also have our controller board here, which also has a button on it. Um, and this button controls whether you can have it off at idle or if you want to change the color modes on it. So this afterburner here is extremely lightweight. It's only like $45 on their website right now for a single. And yeah, you know, it's like really inexpensive. And the double um, is not much more expensive. It's like $20 more, so. Nice. But yeah, absolutely awesome. And yeah, if you guys want to, you guys can, uh, Use 15% off Hamilton's hanger, you know, to snag you guys one if you don't want one in this video because we are going to be giving a couple away. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It also comes with screws right here as well to uh, attach into the back of the EDF because the 80s and 90s, um, I don't know about a 70. I've never put this one in a 70 yet. Oh, wait, yeah, I did the Viper, but we went ahead and used the uh, zip ties as well. So you get two options. You can mm -hmm. zip tie it through the holes um, for easier use or... You can use these holes right here that are on it and put these screws through there, which go right into the motor. So they don't stick out that far, but they go in there enough to thread it down and pull it in there. Uh, me personally, I go ahead and switch these ones out for a little bit of a longer one. Um, I've just been throwing in some uh, M3s. They're so like the same size and um, yeah, like a millimeter or two more. Uh, I don't know the exact size off the top of my head. But you got the bolts. Chris, what's up? up? He, he said, said what's, what's up, Jay? Jay? What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming us. by, dude. All right. So let's get these little bolts out. Show you guys which ones I've been using. And Fly High RC said, nice discount code. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're trying to do stuff for y'all. Yes. All right, yeah. So the smallest one that I have inside this kit here, I got this kit um, off Amazon, this little M3 kit, you know, for um, stuff I've been building here with my Raptor. And I also have some silver ones as well. Um, but the smallest ones here um, look to be about six millimeters. All right, so six millimeters M3 is what I've been going with instead, which is just a hair longer. You know what I mean? It kind of catches a little bit more um, from what I've noticed. So that's just my own personal use, but they do work. You know, um, I did the very first time I did get this newer model, I did put the um, screws, these stock screws inside there. So, yeah. All right. I'm on the camera. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. Boom. So. Very, very simple use here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and power this up with a with our high-tech programmer here. Okay, which is just a universal um, servo programmer as well. Um, for those of you guys that do have this, you know how convenient it is to use. Um, if you're out in the field, you don't wanna program your servos and then just, you would just use it as a um, programmer, or excuse me, as a tester. So super duper simple. We're gonna go ahead and make a bit of an adjustment here. We're gonna zoom out some. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera. About right there. All right. Cool. 
All right. So that's what we're going to say. I'm not going to uncoil this right now, just so I can keep it all right here for you guys. Okay. So with our tester, we are going to go ahead and plug our tester in. Hop over in the manual. I got it turned all the way down right now. So I don't think you guys can see that on the screen. There we go. Nice. Yeah, 900 is the lowest. Yeah. And then output highest is 2101. All right. So that's just my battery checker here. We're going to go ahead and test this out on a SMC battery here. This is a 4400 high voltage. For those of you guys that haven't tried these, they pack a large punch inside these jets. So a very noticeably different one from what I've experienced with other batteries. I'm not saying that they're like, you know, uh, the world's best battery. I mean, I believe that, you know, a lot of this stuff comes down to opinions and things like that. But I will tell you that <clears throat> it has been very reliable. And the one that I did crash, um, I don't know if I just got lucky or what, but it didn't go up in flames. So that's always nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I would say. Definitely. So. Cool. Here, I'm going to pop over here. Help you out real quick and set these up. Javier? Chris, Hi. Mitchell, what's up, dude? Javier, what's up? Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I, I need all the help I can get, get guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, we're cooking. All right, there you go, baby. All right. Cut in front of the camera. All right. Chris and Javier, you are now moderated. All right. Babe, can you just scoot to the right a little bit so I can see? I can, I'm on the oh, left-hand side. If you scoot that way, then I can see. Is that better for you, too? Because I don't need to see yeah. the right side of the screen. Boom. Anybody has Perfect. any questions, things like that, you know? Um, yeah, just make sure to tell me so I can go ahead and answer those. All right. And, and then we have, it's Joey. Hey. What up? You are now moderated as well. A bunch of new faces in here tonight. I really appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you. You guys yeah. are the reason that we're even here, um, you know, coming mm -hmm. out here showing you guys this in the first place. So, because all the support we get from everybody. So, um, thank you guys. I appreciate that. I know Ashley does too. I do. Thank you, guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep moving here with the servo tester. All right, so I got this plugged into the servo tester. All you need to do is go ahead and plug this into the lead. All right, so I'm going to make a couple more adjustments here with the camera. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so just with the battery lead here, you're just gonna go ahead and plug this in here. You really can't get the polarity wrong. I mean, you could if you force it down on the other side, but you know, the slots line up on each side. So, and there's only two wires here, you know, your ground and your feed wire. So, boom, there we go. And then as you guys can see, it powers on just like that. Okay, and we'll go ahead and power this up. Yeah, as soon as see where it starts coming on with that flicker very shortly. Well, I got nothing there. I seen it flicker on though, and you've seen that, right? Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> I just tested this out the other day and didn't have any issues, so. It's probably used right here. Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> so. uh, it's interesting, though. Fly High RC said put the juice to it. <laughs> Annie also said that you're a lucky man. Well, thanks. I appreciate you <laughs> very much. All right. So. I'm not sure what's going on with the servo tester or what. Look, I'm keep knocking the damn camera. 
All right. So I'm going to grab. He said brown out. It's Joey said, don't you hate it when you have an itch on your back that you can't quite itch? <laughs> All right, let me just find my controller. And then... Some technical difficulties, guys. So we're just going to do the install and see what's up. Oh, the controller's dying. Awesome. Jeez. We have RC flying in the house. RC flying. What's the up? Veteran. Yo. Thank you for your service. He said it always happens when you do a live. Yeah, dude. It's all good. I mean, like, truth. nothing's perfect. So, I mean, like I said, I'm like, when my last couple of videos, nothing's perfect as much as you always want it to be, right? You yeah. Know? So, I mean. That's life. That's what we aim for, but we know how it goes. So, motor is just connected. part of the hobby, too. All right. So. We're going to go ahead and zoom out here. <laughs> right. I'm getting my eyes on what I'm doing. So I just disconnected the motor right now. All right. So I disconnected the motor, which is what you need to do first. All right. This is a very, very simple process. All right. So can we go ahead and get our screwdrivers here to take off the... What's up, DeForest? He said he's from Western Washington. Oh, I actually Washington. don't even need to do that. So let me just grab my plug so I can plug this in while I work on it. So, um, yeah. Gotta have power, right? While we're now we're controller dead. Yes, that would help. <laughs> well, what are you looking for? Oh, uh, that bag I just had a minute ago. This? No, the uh, oh. the one with the uh. Cords in it. Oh, okay. So today is gonna go. Huh? Well, you know what I'm gonna say. Mercury one? is in retrograde, guys. I know the motor is connected, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do this. First of all, we got to get that burner plugged in. We're going to plug our burner into our 10th channel just because. We're going to plug it into the 10th channel. Oh, wow. Jeff went on a cruise. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Okay, okay we have a question from Andrew. Um, he, he said, said if, if you, you take, take the wheels, wheels off, off, can you hand launch that jet? jet? Oh, dude, no doubt. I'm sure I think has way <laughs> enough for us, especially into the head, nice headwind. You know what I mean? So, yeah. what we're going to do here, plug her in right there on your most channel. Now I just need that cord real fast. So... No, it's not it. It's not it. So yeah, I really don't know where I just set right that one. thing down at. Oh yeah, here it is. There you go. Javier said, "Sweet looking plane." Thanks, dude. Yeah, this is the uh, eighty millimeter Mirage. Thing's actually pretty awesome, man. To be honest with you. Been really more than satisfied with my like four or five flights on it. Okay. Yes, sir. And then we have Raymond in the house. Raymond, what's up, man? He's from New York, Long Island. He said, How are you doing? We're doing good. Doing well today, alive and breathing, you know what I mean? So Yeah. 
Okay. Get my transmitter plugged in here because it will keep it'll keep yelling at me. <laughs> So I can have it powered on. Okay. So now that the motor's disconnected, guys. All right. Um, I plugged it into the tenth channel. All right. Now I'm just gonna go into the transmitter real fast and mix that last channel with the throttle. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. At that point, I'll be able to plug the battery in. And then we're gonna go ahead and give it full throttle. So we'll plug the battery in. We'll plug the lead in, and then we'll give it full throttle. And then we'll watch this. Uh, thing blink a few times and then it bring the throttle down and that'll be your starting point so as you guys have seen in a moment ago it wasn't working on my servo programmer I'm not really too sure what the issue is with that but I did use the um, servo programmer on the one I just put inside the Viper yesterday so I'm curious on what's going on with that but I know why <laughs> that's on me I just thought about it okay so <laughs> We'll go ahead and tell you guys this right now. <laughs> well, you see what happened was uh, I put a 6-volt in there, and you should have put a 2S on me. Oh. So I believe – that's what I did last time. I used a little 2S battery. That's the only, that's the only difference I did. I didn't use a 6-volt. But it shouldn't matter because it's drawn from the, uh, the battery. Okay, it doesn't matter. RC flying Let's veteran. Let's keep going here. He said, what happened to your Jetty transmitter you had? He still has it. This man has everything. What no, doesn't don't. he have? <laughs> He's like, I have a long list of all the things I don't have. <laughs> yeah, we actually just flew with our Jetty yesterday on the uh, yeah. Viper. I'm pretty good. There's Jetty. The old Jetty. Yep. Scotty. Story. I'll show you guys that here What's soon, up? too. So, Thanks for joining us. Let me go to the right. Things here. Model. Mm, Mirage. And let's go with... Add that in. We'll, on the throttle channel. There we go. We'll call it. Burner. Boom. Simple. Just like that. Done. So now we're going to power it on and then plug our lead in and then bring it down to our throttle point. Okay. Your good homie, Josh Weber. He said, yo, oh, homie. Oh, Josh. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. <laughs> oh, look, I unplugged it again. Yeah, I know you're dying. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I wanted to like lean the controller a little bit. There we go. Okay. Boom. So let me get some adjusting here on the camera for you guys so I can get it to a good uh, zooming point. So Scotty asked you if you like the Viper. Oh, dude, the Viper is awesome. Absolutely amazing. Super, super smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. Literally, like yesterday we flew it and it was just like, you know, absolutely amazing. It was like nine day difference um, from the yeah, it was nice. 70. You know, we flew it with no stabilization either, which was um, um, pretty cool. So. All right. Chris Mitchell is leaving the house. All right, Chris, so dude, take see care, you later, man. man. Take care. Yeah, for those of you guys Thank that were here joining in the beginning, us. Uh, make sure you guys um, are able to try to stick around if you can, because we are going to be giving away a couple of these afterburners. Um, so, yeah. And uh, one thing that I want you guys to know that this thing has six different colorways on it, six different colorways. Um, so that's pretty cool. You know, um, anything from blue, orange, all blue, all orange, mixture of both. You know what I mean? A little bit of uh, um, just blue at full throttle and then mixed at, um, you know, earlier on. So that's pretty cool. I think it's awesome that you can change them up. So because we in our Viper, we flew with it like uh, blue at full throttle. Um, so that was pretty cool to watch on that jet. You know, just to see um, there on the late evening. So, let's see my view here. 
Fly High RC said, I love how Che don't even know my name. Do you know his name? Fly High RC? Yeah. I do not know his actual name. It's Jeff, I think, right? Is that right? Oh, duh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I probably, probably would have seen the thing on there or whatever. That's funny. I probably, I probably would have seen that thing on there. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ashley. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the green. Yeah, but he's always been that same thing. I probably, probably would have saw that. Oh, this guy. <laughs> you saw on the water or what? As we say, he's on a cruise. Yeah, it's Jeff. He he's on not the on the cruise anymore. Oh, uh, okay, he was. He was. Yeah, I tried calling him uh, a few days ago. That's funny. Okay. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. All right. Brandish plug in. Here we go. Getting your ducks in a row. See? <gasps> wow, I love it. So, yeah, not really too sure what the issue was there, but boom, there we go, guys. So that's that. Um, uh, just like right off the bat now at idle power, as I go up more, it'll get brighter, right? So that being said, if you want to go ahead and stop that and not have anything at idle power when you have no power going on, all you got to do is short press for three seconds and then boom, that's it. So that's it. You know what I mean? And so let's go ahead and give her some power here. I got it coming up at like quarter throttle. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. What was that like? Yeah, I like that a lot. Wow. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Then let's see if we can get a nice little flicker. There we go. Looks good. Ooh, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So like I said, this thing has six different colorways on it, okay? And all you got to do is just... Uh, press the button on it to go ahead and change the colorways on it. And then you see that thing change. So just like that, now it's in a different mode. All right, so let's go <laughs> to the next mode. Boom. Oh, I like that one. So Scotty said he's repainting his 90 Viper. There we go, look at that. That's that awesome. Mostly blue. There we go, and it gets brighter at orange in that mode there. Okay, push it again. Next mode. How are you repainting it? What are you doing to it? What's that? His Viper, Scotty. He's repainting it. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can make yeah. it look like into like a lot of sports sets. You know what I mean? Look, mm -hmm. there we go with all blue. Ooh. Man, things nice and bright. I'm about to be blind after this. All right, next colorway. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All orange. This one's my favorite just because, you know, all orange, it gets like super duper bright. And yeah. uh, yes, it's absolutely overall amazing. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So you don't want to like power this on for too long at like high throttles and things like that without it getting a regular, uh, regulated airflow over it, right? Because that's the point of keeping these lights nice and cool. Um, otherwise you'll have overheating problems um, as pretty much everybody knows. So, and if you haven't experienced that, you probably did by accident whenever you left the plug in for too long. So. <sighs> It's true. Yeah, I so, mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, was that all of our colorways, or do we got one more? Let's see. I can't remember how many we just did. So <laughs> right there. there we go. Getting both again. So yeah, we're right back to where we were at the beginning. So we'll go ahead and just unplug it there. Boom and boom. Winder, what's Honking up? Honking at me. Look, that's how you guys know I didn't Thanks lose. for joining. Hey, Winder said he likes the orange. Yeah, orange, I do too. Orange color. Oh, the yeah. orange. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely amazing. And the afterburner. Right? Yeah, which one yeah. are your guys' favorite? Which one do you guys like the most out of all those we just showed you? I like the orange or the blue. You like the orange it's... or the blue? Mm -hmm. I like the orange the most. Um, but I do like that blue flicker in there as well. You know, I like that at the beginning. Yeah. Um, and in there. So. RC Flying Veteran said he likes orange. Yeah, I just want to um, say thank you guys for taking the time to come hang out with us tonight, too, because, you know, uh, Sunday yeah. night, you guys could be doing something else, hanging out with your families, things like that. And uh, hey, maybe some of you guys are on the couch right now while you got the kids yelling back and forth. That's me, anyways. You know, when I'm on the so <laughs> isn't that just regular things? So yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys. That's we what appreciate I'd you be guys doing right now. 
Oh, look. Raymond said he likes the blue. I do like the blue, too. I, like I said, I flew it in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the other Viper. So, yeah. Really easy here. All oh, right. Shadow Ops is back. He said back briefly. Shadow Ops is back. <laughs> Boom. So, I moved the afterburner out of the way. <gasps> oh, then... Scotty. Scotty said his buddy lost his Tomcat today. Damn, the new 64. One sweep out of nowhere. Man. He said, I don't think the servos are strong enough. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah, we were hearing some things about that. So, yeah. We don't really know. So, yeah. Um, but I don't really want to waste much more time on this. So, I got two people here that are live in the show right now that are going to go ahead and win themselves one of these afterburners from us. We got some new right. people too, Mark so. and 6SRC. Oh, I've seen 6S. What's up? Good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in quite a while. Hey, well, I got you guys right here, so I'll show you this. So, um, I don't know if you guys have ever used the aluminum tape, but I'm assuming that there's like, you know, uh, different styles of the aluminum tape for different purposes, right? So, we just happen to have some of the um, more home style <laughs> uh, aluminum tape around here, you know, which I believe is a little bit heavier than most that you probably make, um, you know, like a really lightweight one, you know, because I know they sell those too. But... I will say that those lightweight ones don't have as much aluminum in there, right? So you might find yourself putting in an extra layer or something like that if you can still see through because this thing is ridiculously bright inside of here, like ridiculous. So with that being said, yesterday before we went out and flew this EDF, um, I went ahead and put aluminum tape in the bottom of here. The noons, know. what's up? Yeah, there you Noons go. Noons Airborne RC. Oh, look at that, guys. I got like a bunch in there. I got like nine strips total to like – Oh, that looks so good. It. Yeah. But there's, you did our really good with that. there's our burner inside there. So, yeah. And I will go ahead and uh, power this on real quick. Flyer Mikey, hi. To show you guys. Thanks for joining us. What it looks like inside the jet. And, yeah. So, I'm going to move this one out of the way. We're going to throw this one on the table real fast. And then we're going to move forward to a little special unboxing real fast here. It's not going to take too long of your guys' time. So, Yeah. We got a lot of people joining us now. Wow. All Thanks, right, everybody. Right. Thanks for being here. Moving this up out of the way real fast. Um, RC Flying Veteran wants to know if motion was, helped you out with your F-14. I'm sorry. Can you ask me again? Uh, so RC Flying Veteran, he said, he did motion help you out with your F-14? Well, we're still kind of like, you know, communicating with them. So... You know, but yeah, there's uh, some things going around about that F-14, things like that. So we don't know what the issue is with it, but we know we didn't have any flap to elevator mix or anything like that in ours. So all right, so take these out. I really like that these fit inside the bay you know yeah so what i was saying though about the aluminum tape before i walked away to show you guys this i had to compensate for that back there in the back because that was significantly heavier than i thought so even from 10 or was it like yeah 10 millimeters um from the leading edge was the starting point right and you know you can go like plus minus or five or seven or something like that but to be honest with you like it was still tail heavy and when i was giving it to cg due to that back there I don't believe it has anything to do with the afterburner because every jet I've ever had it didn't mess with the CG at all. I put the battery in the same spot because it's just so lightweight. But with that being yeah. said, I had to add in those weight inside my Viper to make it to make it fly right. And um, on our maiden, we actually had to give it seven clicks of down elevator still. It wasn't like, you know, about to do a backflip or anything. It still took off flying, things like that. But on our, uh, on our first actual pass go around, we, you know, she was starting to climb on us a little bit. So I had to give her some down elevator. But, you know, she still flew absolutely amazing. Nice butter landing. Um, super pretty happy with it, to be honest with you. But, yeah, so. This. Um, Scotty wants to know, where's that question? Sorry. So I added Who in, makes the tester, the servo tester? Oh, that's a high-tech one. Oh. High-tech. Look, so I just had, I didn't really have any, like, weights around here, like, no lead or anything like that. So I just had, like, a couple of bolts that I had from a long while ago. Um, they're not that heavy, but then, like, you know. 
uh, just an yeah. old socket piece that I had, but I added those in the front there and it compensated for it and it made it balance out really good. And yeah, so like I said, a lot of people probably wouldn't think that it would add any weight to the back or anything like that, but it actually really did for me. So enough to wear when I gave it to CG at the house, I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, like we're definitely not taking this out. And I don't know why I was sending it over there because I'm going to show you guys the burner real fast. Let's find a battery. We want to know if you would try FPV with head oh. tracking in your jets. I mean, FPV is on our list for sure. We'd like to get a, um, we're thinking about getting a DJI FPV one here soon. Um, we really like the training system that they have um, within the goggles and things like that to be able to use. So, uh, yeah, we're thinking about doing that, you know, getting ourselves more familiarized. And, yeah, I'd really like to do that one day. You know, that'd be oh, pretty cool. I'd rather be flying. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So. I got him that one of that cup for, I don't know when I got it for you. But. I'd rather be flying, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> RC Pilot Will, what's up? He said, what's, what's up, up, Hamilton? Will, what up? Will just got an F-14, guys. I seen that video a little while ago. Oh, I haven't watched it yet, but I've seen it pop through on my stuff. So I'm just having that time. You know how it is. But, you know, things watching later at night. So. And then you got Flyer Mikey out. in the house. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Um, EQ, RC. EQ, Eric, what's up? Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. If you guys have JCB67. JCB, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and show you guys this burner real fast here so we can move on to our little quick unboxing. All right, burner's plugged in. Uh, have you thought about putting the inside of the truss tube inside of the tape? Painting the inside, sorry. Oh, yeah, we did that before. Uh, yeah. It's a bit of a hassle, though, man. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, um, I'm not against it. So the only reason I tried this is because I've never tried it before with the aluminum tape, and I knew it would work. You know what I mean? And I like the way that it turned out. I don't like how heavy it was, to be honest with you, though, so I may not use it, or I might just find a lighter one and give it a nice primer gray or something like that on the bottom. So because in the past, I painted them and on the inside for most of them, to be honest with you, because I don't like to bleed through um yeah so but it just gives a lot of overspray sometimes and things like that you know what i mean it can be a little bit to deal with whenever you aren't taking off the rudders or whatever else like you know what i mean um yeah I mean, i'm still gonna do it in the future for sure so especially on the uh on our raptor that we have going on so all right so all we got the elevator here so nice. we better not fly it got nothing else <laughs> All right. So I don't know how I'm going to do this because I don't want the camera blowing over or nothing. So. Neiman, he said he'll be back. Peace out, man. All right, brother. Yeah, come back. We're give, doing a giveaway. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Nice little blip. Yeah, there's a couple things around here. You guys know how that goes. But yeah, <laughs> you see it, babe? Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh okay. Big top wall, so we're done. Good thing it's not. <laughs> well. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody tried on that, so it's definitely. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh man, we'll have that. We'll have that. That is hilarious. Well. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh shoot. I can't stop laughing. That was oh, funny. Oh man. He said <laughs> EQRC said, "Oh shit." <laughs> All right, so let me do a quick clean up here, and then I'm going to throw this box on the table for us to do this little quick unboxing. All right. Oh, hey, what do you guys think of this that we're going to unbox next? Does anybody got any ideas on what they might think? Drop it in the chat real quick. Let's see what you guys think before I bring it out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Look, Flyer Mikey said he does that all the time. Oh, man. <laughs> 
You'll have that. So now we're going to move on to this little giveaway real fast here first. So, uh, right. Neiman wants to know who made the afterburner. Yeah, models are safe. I got a link down in the description if you want to go ahead and click on that. Um, but yeah, you guys should totally check it out. And I also got a code down there with 15% off. Um, too, and it's only 45, 44 bucks already for the burner. So 40, you know, 44, um, you know, times 0.15, I can let you know what you got to get off, what you get off right there off the bat. So really, what really, up, JD? that's absolutely amazing. So obviously it blows pictures off the walls. So that's funny. All right, so our afterburner set over there. JD said he got his this past Friday. Dude, sweet, man. Awesome. All right, guys. So um, I was just saying a few minutes ago about um, how many different colorways are on the KMLRC afterburner. So I need somebody, to, the first person to tell me how many colorways are on the KMLRC afterburner V3 that we just showcased. I see flying veteran said six. Boom. I see flying veteran. I got, hey, on the, gotta be on the keys. Gotta be on yeah, the keys. he was on the keys. That was hey, quick. <laughs> that's me too, you know. <laughs> All right, you said flying, uh, who was it again? RC Flying Veteran. All right, RC Flying Veteran. Make sure you send me an email to uh, hamiltonhanger at gmail.com. Um, that's hamiltonhanger at gmail.com. And um, no S on there. And yeah, go ahead and send me your information and I'll make sure we get that sent out to you as soon as possible. All right. All right, cool. So, all right, so now we're going to have another winner. So, those of you guys that have been here for a while listening. What? How many people we got in here right now? 23. 23. 23 people. What's up, everybody? I didn't say hi to you. Hello. And if you're not on the chat, type in what's up. How you guys doing? Thanks for watching and just checking us out. If you're driving, whatever. Background music. Cool. I appreciate it. We appreciate the support. <laughs> yes, um, we do. Thank you, guys. Yes, yes, most definitely. So I told you guys a little bit ago, for those of you guys that were here for the, throughout this entire video, I said that I was going to do something next to the Mirage that I planned on doing that I wasn't going to put the wings back on because I planned on doing something else to it. Can any of you guys tell me what I said that I planned on doing to that jet to make it a little bit better? You know? Buddy. I said I was going to add something in there. EDF. No. No. Nope. Painting. No. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's going to get it. Somebody's going to see something. That's what Jeff said. <laughs> it needs something. You know what I mean? Gyro. Lights. 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 Flyer Mikey. Boom. Lights. That thing's getting lights as soon as possible, guys. Can't see it in the sky. You know? We like lights. You know? And yes, we love lights. Love, love, love lights. So, yes. RC Flyer Mikey said? Flyer Mikey. Flyer Mikey. Please send me an email. Hamiltonhanger at gmail.com. Hamiltonhanger at gmail.com um, with your shipping information. And I'll make sure I get that sent out to you as soon as possible as well. So, Congratulations to you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah. You know, and if you guys are first time here and things like that, you know, we really appreciate you guys coming by and seeing better that you came by and check this out and won something, right? In my opinion. So that's always nice. Who doesn't like free stuff, you know? So yeah. Thanks for coming on, Shadow. Peace out. Shadow, dude. I hope you have a great night. Enjoy the time with the family. We'll see you next time, dude. All right. So we're going to do a little quick unboxing here for everybody. Okay. We're going to move forward. Um, pass the burner for the moment and do a little quick unboxing. 
Did anybody drop a guess on what it might be, Ash? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Anybody drop a guess on what it might be? Yeah, yeah can, can you guys guess? guess? Guess what the unboxing is. Um, so, in relation to the question that just came up a few minutes ago, which I had a feeling that it would, but about the Tomcat, things like that. <laughs> um, yes, yes. The answer to your question is yes. Motion did take care of us. They did send they us did. a new Tomcat, which they we have not great. opened up yet. So I've already done the unboxing on this officially, so I figured I would just kind of share it with you guys right now live on here uh, for those of you guys that want to check it out. But, yeah, so Motion did send us a new Tomcat. We don't know what happened with our last one. Like I said, um, we were flying it five minutes before that, and, you know, we just went in the car, came back out, a couple people arrived, put a battery in, went back up. Half laps were good. Came in around. Just taking off my hat. When I gave it too much left aileron on the, for those of you guys that have seen the short, I'm pretty sure most people have. Um, once I'm coming around the corner there, I gave it too much left because I was taking my hat off. And um, cause you see at the end of the video, my hat's like behind my, um, stuck in my cap. So um, anyways, but yeah. So then I straightened out and yeah, I just hit the flap switch. So I only have my gear and my flaps on those on that side of the transmitter. So, and I use the same switches for everything, right? Why not? Consistency is key. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, so we're gonna go ahead and make a small adjustment here. Boom. Yeah, but thank you Motion for sending us a new one. Yeah, I definitely nice. um, had a good conversation um, um, with them. You know what I mean? I appreciate the support that they gave. And, mm -hmm. you know, either way, we'd still be prime buying products from them. You know, we still yeah. have a lot of just them that are on our list and things like that. Um, you know, they're just been like, you know, up in the air because, like I said, I don't know. And you guys heard my controller honk at me a little bit ago, like a car horn, whenever I unplug the battery. <laughs> so that's what happens whenever you lose signal to your um, yes. you know, receiver. So that didn't happen to us. So I don't know. But, yeah, I'm not going to keep talking. I'm just going to go ahead and probably go ahead and unbox this real quick for you guys. And get it out on the table and just out and about. The crash one's actually still in the garage. We haven't touched it. So good night, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Mark, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna keep you guys for long. We're gonna go ahead and get this done quickly and then yeah, continue our night. So I appreciate you guys. Oh, I had it upside down the whole time? Wow. Yeah, wow. Well, Why do you say that? I didn't really notice. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah. Did I open this? I don't think so. I did not open this one yet. That's funny. Not that I know. I don't know why for some reason I thought I like oh that was the Viper box. RC Flying Veteran said he email sent. Jay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I will get with you after the show. Yes, Scotty, another F14. Yep, that's right. Motion came through and sent us one. So that was absolutely awesome. Very happy. Great about customer that. service. We love it. Uh, Jeff said, check your text messages. All right. <laughs> I, I, mean, I had it. Here. Thanks. You're welcome. Got you. All right. So make this nice and quick here. I got you, Jeff. He's got you, Jeff. 
<laughs> Boom, pop, pop, pop. So, yeah, you guys know that uh, it has that board in here and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if that was the issue or whatever, but, like, I don't like the fact that you can't program it right now because the Bluebird module isn't out yet. So, with that being said, I'm going to go hey, around. I think my thing, this died, maybe? I can't hear you. Oh, for real? I don't know. I just It just randomly shut off. So... So let's pop that up and pop over here and see. So can you hear me? No. Sorry, Sorry guys. Hang on. Well, they can't hear me. Hmm. Says you're connected, so. I don't know. It's fine. All right, I'm going to check it for you. Oh, oh, they, they can, can hear, hear me. me. Oh. But, but I, I can't, can't hear anything. Well, they might be able to hear you now because I was right next to you. Okay. As long as they can hear me. Did you turn it down by accident? No, no I didn't touch it. I don't know. On the headset, I mean? You still hear me? I can't hear you. Not now? Oh. Huh. It's okay. All right. Well, they said they hear you, so... I know. That's all that matters, I guess. <laughs> we'll just open one of these up today. Who did? Uh, pilot Will. RC Pilot Will, yeah. Nice. Okay. So, one thing I will tell you guys, though, like I was just saying about that uh, Blue Bridge, like, you know, I just don't like the fact that I can't program the gyro and things like that uh, to games of my liking. So, uh, I'm going to go my own route. I'm just going to put a little jetty thing inside there. And, um, yeah, we are also adding our own lights to this, too. So, um, yeah, I just had to drop a video on that for you guys to check it out. But we are adding our own lights into this because um, I like them to be bright. And I like to see them during the day. So I cannot see these during the day when I flew it out there. And, um, yeah, so this is all about personal stuff, right? I mean, I'm not saying it makes a jet any better. It's all about personal preference. But it's one thing that I did realize once I did... Um, fly it that I would like to do. So we'll be adding some lights to this one too. RC pilot Will said, could it possibly need to calibrate first? I don't know. I did that actually like a bunch of times because we had a couple issues with it prior to going out there like our third time because when I made it or whatever we had, we went out there two separate times and had a couple issues. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get it up off the ground. So see you later, Jeff. Thanks for hopping in. Yeah, thanks a lot, dude. I'll talk to you later, man. Um, oh, thanks for asking. The kids are doing good. Yeah, kids are doing They are with a leave. family friend right now, so. Yep, kid free for a little bit. <laughs> this is nice. what we like to do on our free time. And nobody is sick. Yeah, we just got over sickness. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. But thanks for asking. Yeah, Appreciate that. All these missiles and stuff in here, you know. They want to know if you're going to use the stock gyro. No. The answer is no. No. Mainly because, like I said, you don't have the ability to program it like it's advertised to do. You know what I mean? So I just don't, um, you know, from my own peace of mind, I'm not saying that, you know, I just don't know what's going on inside of it because uh, you should be able to see the settings of a system that is inside of your, inside of your plane, in my opinion. Yeah. So, like, I should be able to go into the settings and look and see what all, like, okay, it's on the right settings, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then I just have that peace of mind. Yeah, so, that makes sense. with that being said, with what happened to the last one, you know what I mean? I can't go into the settings and just look and, you know, be confident in my own head and know that nothing's an issue. And not that I'm saying that it is an issue, just don't know. So, but I know that if I put my own stuff in there, I'll be good. This is true. To be honest with you, we're just going to throw a little A3 in here, dude. Like, you know, I had an A3 in the, uh, uh, the 80 millimeter that I flew. So, we're just going to throw an A3 in here, but we are putting our own jetty power system in here. You know, and with our light system that we're putting in here, we're going to uh, dump down the connections to, like, you know, four. So. Yeah. Uh, Flyer Mikey was the one that asked that question, and he said that he wishes they came without the gyro for people that want to use their own. That's a good point. Yeah, I think you, you can bypass it and stuff, too, if those people want to use the mixing board and stuff like that still. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So, um, here's the mixing board. All right, there. Oh, nice. Wow. There's the board. It's complicated. Yep, that's the board from the last one. <laughs> For somebody like me. So, we took ours out, you know, because it has the USB C port on there, mm. you know, where you can go ahead and access it. So, I mean, if you guys already have an iPhone right now, download the Free Wing Flight Assistant app. You can go to it and it opens up and it has like servo option down there in gyro. And you can click on it and look at the settings that are all available. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Before plugging into the actual unit. So there was somebody that ordered from like Oklahoma or something like that, that I've seen on RC groups that um, received a Blue Bridge USB with his, but he ordered from a third party, um, you know, out of country. So he was able to get one with his. Now, when I spoke to Dora from Freewing, um, who's like they're one of their customer service representatives, I believe, or they're like, you know, customer service person. Um, you know, prior to me crashing my jet, I was telling her about my issues and things like that. And she told me that I can get one easily if I was in China. So they are released in uh, China already, yeah. you know, but not right now. So here anyways. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, you know, I mean, it might be out by the time I get this up again. I mean, maybe not. So I'm going to stick with the stock power system though. I believe. And um, yeah, I know I have a tendency to like dip off to the right. So yeah, didn't have that happen to us too crazy yet. I mean, on our first landing, she kind of want, if you look at it, she did want to like move right a little bit. So, but the wind was blowing towards that direction too. So don't know, but yeah. Yeah. Someone said earlier in the chat that they don't like the wind at all. The wings? Just the F-14. Oh, this one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's one of those ones where, like, you know, you can just kind of, like, do your own thing to it if you wanted to, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. I think that it'll still fly good when I make some changes to it, um, you know? Yeah. And I do believe that it would benefit from a little bit of larger nozzles, larger nozzles on there, um, a little bit, just, like, kind of, like, you know, how the uh, – Rafal has a 3D printed um, one, and they really do uh, make a large difference on the airspeed and just overall output from the EDF unit. So I do believe that we can 3D print some of those in the near future to make it a little bit bigger. And um, we we're also thinking about maybe going with some 69 millimeter Shubies in here, you know, so two of them. We but, have a new face in the house, Tony. He Tony? said new F-14, so this up, is... From Motion, they made it. Yes. Send them a new one. They sent me a new one, which is awesome. Yes. So very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Thanks for coming on and joining us. Yeah, please smash that thumbs up if you guys haven't already. So, yeah. I mean, we're not really going to stick around here much any longer, you know. So, um, Yeah, thanks, Flyer Mikey. He said he hopes that you have better luck with this one. Thanks, man. I very much appreciate it. Me too. It. So, yeah, just a really good, you know, finish. Not the biggest bird, you know, but it looks good up there in the sky. I can tell you that. So. Yeah, I really love yeah, this really one. So on I want this one to go better. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want I'm you really to crash confident this that one again. Go well. So, I love but, the wings. Yeah. The maiden went good on the last one, you know what I mean? It didn't yeah. Like bad. But, um, yeah, one thing I want to show you guys before we leave real fast, because we're about to get out of here. So, I'm going to have a video dropping on this um, in the next couple of days. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. It's already 7.35, dang. All right, so this is our Raptor that we've been working on for a while now. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we've been kind of like he going says our we, own route. Him. And <laughs> we've been doing a lot of stuff to um, get ready for the full entire thing. Um, a couple things I'll show you guys real fast here. Victor, before we what's up? So, what's up, Victor? Victor, Victor, what's up, dude? What's up? So I have a lot of just, I completely gutted this entire thing. And there was nothing inside of it. And we're doing all of our own stuff. Um, we're making this into a completely super scale one. And uh, 
yeah, just a super scale model completely. You know what I mean? So next time you guys That's true, see this one, besides from the video I'm going to drop tomorrow or the next day, then yeah, she'll be in a way different point because we're about to have a really good next week on this one. So with that being said, um, carbon fiber. That looks so good. You did a good job on that. So carbon fiber on there on the inside as well. Um, I got a different one. I'll show you the video. But yeah, so it's carbon fiber all on the inside down in there for the pocket on here. And that's on both sides. And yeah, I was able to run those wires. We did take out the uh, gear, took out the gear. Uh, we're going a different route with the gear. Uh, they want to know, Craig wants to know what you're going to use for the nose gear. Oh, oh I'll show you in one sec. I got it. Um, one last thing real quick here. We have the electron Ooh, yeah. uh, wing connectors. So we're doing like, you know, seamless rudder connections. So I got some on the rudders, two on the rudders there. And they're going on the wings too, which I've already carved that out. And I've actually got those made as well. Flyer Mikey said, nice upgrades. Thank you. He's, He's doing, doing a good job. job. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Well, I can't get into my toolbox right now, so. Okay. But to show you guys the wing connectors, but I do have those, but. You got it? Yeah. I want to show them the gear real fast here. Yes. Yeah. Justin, what's up? I'm good. I honestly think that they are inside of the toolbox. So. Ooh. I'll just show you guys. Oh, no, yep, I'll show you guys. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I'll just show you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I got the camera mounted here, though, so. You want me to hold it? It's okay. Boom. There you go. You want to say hi? Right? Make sure. Yeah, there she is. Hey! Boom. <laughs> Sitting here on the computer. Yeah. Help so, it out any way I can. One in the toolbox. There <laughs> we go. Peace. Boom. There you guys are on the screen there. There we go. That's not how it is getting set up. Everything's a process. So. Long fuel. Yeah, that's right. Gotta have that. <laughs> Gotta have it. All right. So I'm gonna place this back. I had it. Boom. Got it. I do believe so. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, mate. There we go. I'll adjust that. All right, we're leaving it like that. Okay. Got that, and I got that. Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, back to it here. So. I have electron gear for the nose, okay? Electron gear for the nose and the mains, okay? We're on with a Electron GS200 programmer. Victor, talk to you about this before I actually bought this. So, but yeah, so we're going with all electrons here because we're adding a, uh, a 93 millimeter Schubler HST, which will actually be here like next week. And... Uh, it's putting out 17 pounds of thrust. So this thing is going to be more than enough powerful, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to take on what we're taking on. I do believe it's going to roll in around 13 pounds maybe. I don't even know what the batteries things like that, probably around 13 pounds with everything inside there. That's my guess as of right now. Um, so even way more than a one-to-one. -one, so I like, can't wait to fire the heck out of this thing. So we're doing reinforcements all the way around, things like that, um, all of our own stuff. So... You know, if it burns in, it burns in. But I'm pretty confident that this airframe can take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and we're not going to be punching it, you know, to the metal every single time. So, and I went with the GS200, just so you guys know, because we're adding doors. So the doors are going to be all in there and stuff like that. Both bomb doors on the side and the main door is folding as well. Um, and then the opening canopy. So I'm really, really excited about it. You know what I mean? Um, it's a process. Um, engineering doing things to the jet and just come out with the idea. And then most of all time, you know what I mean? Time's the biggest thing. Those are guys yeah. that have built something from nothing 
then, you know, with no starting point and things like that, then you know that it's a very long process. So I'm anticipating that this will be hopefully done before a year mark. So we have until September, I believe that is. So yeah, can't wait to check it out. I can't wait to fly it. Can't wait to see it. You know, the lights are absolutely amazing. I got those outside. Um, yeah, so. See you later, are, Raymond. Thanks for yeah. stopping by. So we're gonna get out of here too, because we can talk all day. Oh, so. one question though, somebody okay. asked. Tony wants to know what your all-time favorite plane is to fly. The Raptor. Pretty easy. There it I mean, is, Raptor. To, uh, choose, you know, um, yeah. If you guys haven't checked it out, I did put it on 12S before on um, my channel, and I love yeah. it. So, you know, it's just overall amazing bird. Looks good coming in. You know, the lights on it that I added on the wings last time were cool. Uh, but this time, you know, we've added, like, all the scale lights. So we went on five millimeter lights, you know what I mean, to represent on the top and the bottom. So we got lights on the top and the bottom of the wings, you know what I mean? And yeah. <laughs> RC flying veteran said he can't wait till you finish it. Yeah, it's gonna be absolutely awesome. So the lights look on look crazy. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, I'm Shay. We got Ashley as usual here with Hamilton Sanger. Thank you guys so much for checking out the live stream. You yeah, know, thank you guys. It's your first time here, you know. I know all you guys are subscribed, but you know, for everybody else checking out this video, please be. And um, yeah, so we're gonna drop the Viper video for everybody to see tomorrow. Make sure you're checking out Stay KMO tuned. RC Afterburner. All right. If you guys don't have one already, make sure you check it out and use 15% Hamilton Hanger. Hamilton's Hanger. You know, 15% Hamilton's Hanger to go ahead and get your guys 15% uh, off your purchase as well. Those are only good for so many uses. So, you know, got to use it while you can, right? Um, and I always like discounts, right? It's already a little bit off and you get a little bit more off, right? It's more of a justification on it, in my opinion. Huh, Ashley. Anyways. Yeah. But anyways, all right, guys. So Thank we're you guys for your support. We're going to get out of here. Um, yeah, babe, you got to end the stream on the left hand side. Remember, okay, so well, peace out, on guys. The other, on the other page, okay, there you go. Have so, a great night. All right, we'll see you guys later. Happy flying! That's right, happy flying.